Hello everybody, it is the Naughty DGen here, coming at you with another video. So, I criticized San Bankman Freed uh, many years ago, when I first, you know, kind of, when he first got my attention, right, with some of the things he was saying about cryptocurrency. And the reason I criticized him be was because Sam Bankman Freed fundamentally misunderstands the point of cryptocurrency and the point of Bitcoin, right? I noticed this when he was donating money to Democrats, to Democrats. Now, I'm not a Republican by any means, right? I, and I don't, you know, what you do in your personal business does not necessarily conflict with, you know, what, you know, you're doing as far as an entrepreneur. I completely get that. But if someone, you know, fundamentally believes in, 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 in cryptocurrency and in Bitcoin and the reasons for the, why we want these tools and these technologies and then donates to people who want to massively expand the size of government, um, we have a problem there, right? Because that, to me, shows he doesn't really understand the vision behind Bitcoin and, you know, cryptocurrency and decentralization as a whole. And this continued as, you know, we heard... He wants regulation in crypto. We need regulation. It's like, well, no, we don't. You know, regulation by definition is centralized, right? You know, cryptocurrency does not need regulation, right? Regulation is the market, you know. Um, if you, if you, you know, everything's going to have risks. You know, if you invest in a protocol or go into some, you know, DeFi, you know, project and it, you know, doesn't do well, then it doesn't do well. I mean, that, that's that's kind of how the market functions, right? And if it does do well, then you make out, right? And he came, you know, he's he's been coming out recently um, for sanctions, right? So, so sanctions, it's like you're, you shouldn't be allowed to donate money or not donate, to transact with people. Like that, that is the, you know, that is why we have or a big reason why we have cryptocurrency, right? If it, 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 it's kind of an IQ test, right? Because it's like, well, this country is bad, therefore we need sanctions against this country and we should allow sanctions in crypto, right? It's kind of an IQ test because the follow-up, excuse me, the follow-up to that, of course, is okay. Well, what if there's a country that isn't a bad country, right? The I'm just using simple terms like bad, you know, just to kind of, you know, uh, deduce this down. What if there's a country that isn't a bad country and we've already opened Pandora's box for sanctions and cryptocurrency? Well, okay, theoretically, the the U.S. could still, you know, apply sanctions, you know, or, or, or have sanctions in the crypto space against a country that isn't bad just because we don't like that country for whatever reason, right? And this is kind of the, the root of the problem where, in cryptocurrency, the whole point is we don't want centralization. We don't want a central authority, you know, telling us what we can and can't do, right? Now, don't get me wrong. That doesn't mean that you can't, you know, it doesn't mean there can't be illegal things within crypto, right? Like if you buy, um, you know, something illegal, you know, you put out a hit on a person, right, on the dark market and you use Bitcoin, it... Oh, so you're saying that should be legal? No, that should still be illegal, but it's not because you used Bitcoin. You know, the, the, the transaction with Bitcoin shouldn't be illegal. It's the fact of what you bought, right? Um, which would be, of course, illegal. Now, Sam Bankman Fried, again, why is he doing this? I think he there are nefarious purposes. Some people who are a little bit newer to crypto might not understand this if you if you don't come from a uh, you know an economic background. But there's something in the world called, you know, regulatory capture, which is when the Industry leaders of a, of a given industry or a given sector, when they kind of team up with government and regulatory bodies to push out competition, right? We see this quite often in the economy. This is why when everyone's like, we need to get rid of capitalism, it's like, we don't have capitalism, right? Capitalism doesn't allow for this. This is government. This is corporatism. And I have always thought that Sam Bankman Freed is, you know, I, I think he might actually be the stupid to, you know, actually support what he's saying. But I think part of it is that he wants to get in bed with regulators, get in bed with, you know, government to push out the competition. Now, to give a great example of this, of, you know, uh, of, an, uh, of a sector that has really gotten to bed with government and, you know, regulators, right? Cigarette companies. Cigarette companies love the fact that government makes their life hell. Why is that, right? 
the main reason is they don't really have any real competition. Well, why is that? Well, you are not allowed to have advertising as a cigarette company. So if, if a competitor is like, oh, we could sell cigarettes cheaper or whatever, you know, wants to come in and do that, they can't even really advertise. I think maybe magazines you're allowed to, but, you know, no one really reads those anymore. And I'm not even sure about that. Um, you can't even advertise. And so, you know, big cigarette companies love the fact that the governments have basically pushed out all competition. No one wants to start a cigarette company, right? No one's going to start a cigarette company because how are you going to compete against the big names, right? You have maybe four or five big names worldwide and that's it, <laughs> you know? And I think that's what Sam Bankman Fried is going for, where he wants to make getting, you know, uh, becoming license. He wants to make DeFi projects have to get licensed. That was what his new you know, his new take was, right? He wants sanctions, he wants blacklists, and he wants licenses. Well, if you make it really hard to become licensed as a DeFi project, that is going to make it very hard to compete with FTX. Now, I know FTX is not a DeFi project. It is a, you know, a centralized exchange, but you get the point, you know, if someone makes a decentralized exchange and they have certain features and, you know, um, liquidity providing, liquidity staking, things like that. Well, if Sam Bank Bankman Fried makes it really hard to do that, um, it's going to benefit his company. And so I think he's an evil guy. I think he is a stupid guy, right? Because h how are you in crypto and pushing for government regulation, right? You know, that's kind of the whole point about crypto, right? Because what people don't realize is right now, centralized databases are more scalable than cryptocurrency. They are. I mean, that's just an objective fact, right? Centralized databases are more scalable and could do, that, you know, more transactions per second than cryptocurrency than most cryptocurrency projects. I'm just using crypto. You know, I know there's lots of different projects, but as a as a whole, you know. So what's the point of crypto? Well, the point is the decentralization. Maybe that's not as scalable. But the fact that it's immutable and no one could stop a transaction, and and the fact that you know there there are privacy, you know, implications there, right? You know, better privacy in the fact that, you know, um, there's no one point of attack, whereas a centralized database, yes, it's more scalable, but if someone takes down that database, that's it. Whereas in something like Bitcoin, you'd have to take down thousands and thousands of individual nodes. And that is just very hard to do and pretty much impossible because all over the world, right? And so I, I know I'm kind of rambling now, but Sam Bankman-Fried is someone who really needs to be opposed in the cryptocurrency industry. I'm not saying you have to agree with me on everything. I'm not saying you have to be a libertarian and, you know, really agree with me. I'm not even going there. But to actively come out and support sanctions and blacklists and allow lists in the cryptocurrency industry and to, you know, want all this licensing and, and, and garbage like that, I mean, this is just disgusting. And um, if you have an FTX account, I would advise you to delete it. You know, don't be ethical with your consumerism. When PayPal came out recently and said, we're going to fine you for misinformation, I deleted my PayPal account. I deleted my PayPal account. And then they backtracked and said, oh, no, we didn't really mean that. We, it was it was error. No, it wasn't. It's too late. Right. Be ethical with your consumerism. That is a feature of capitalism where you could choose who to do business with. Right. I don't have to do business with PayPal if I don't want. Right. And so that's where I am with this. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. This is the first video I uploaded in a very long time. Um, so yeah, let me know.